guys? This is Dom C back again with another Pro Tools tutorial. Have you ever had a beat that you had a hard time lining up to the grid? Well, I have the solution for you. Today, I'm going to teach you guys about Identify Beat. What is Identify Beat? It's a function inside of Pro Tools that analyzes the audio so that way it can give you an exact BPM of what you're hearing. If you're a music producer or an audio engineer, you already know how important it is to make sure that you have things timed up correctly. So, let's get into it. So here we have a beat. This is made by Nico Made It. Make sure you guys check him out. What we need to do is find a two bar loop. What does that mean? Everybody knows regular one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. You have to go all the way to the next one so that way you can make sure you have a complete two bar loop. Ideally, you want to do this from kick to kick. So let's go ahead and jump in here and find our two bar loop. We're going to press tab to transient so that way we can get to the zero cross point and we're going to split the track, okay? Now we're going to listen and count out two bars. Boom. So this guy right here, again, tab to transient. From here, you're going to want to click your two bar selection and play it back just to make sure that you do have it exactly on point. Okay, cool. So now that's set. So before we open up the identify beat window, we do need to make sure that we have a couple parameters set. This right here under the MIDI control section conductor track, you need to make sure that this is enabled. Okay. After that, you're going to go up to event and down to identify beat or for a shortcut, you press Command I or Control I on Windows. So now that we have the Identify Beat window open, we need to make sure that we are setting the start and end points correctly, okay? To let Pro Tools know that we are using a two bar loop. For the start location, we're gonna press one because that is the beginning of our loop. And then we're gonna come down here to the end location and we're gonna do three because remember, it needs to be a complete loop. After that, we're gonna press enter. And you see here at the top, we have 140.9899. Something you need to know about identified beat. When it comes to anything that goes after the decimal, this 0.9899, you don't have to enter that in exactly. The way that I like to do it is to round to the nearest five. So what do I mean by that? This is 140.9899. Just like in regular math, you're either gonna round up or round down. In this case, we would be rounding up to 141. If it was 140.45, then we would round up to 140.5. When you look up here, you're going to realize that to the left of your selection, you have a negative beat count. We don't want this, okay? So what we're going to do is press Command Z or Control Z on Windows, and this is going to set it back. And then we go back up here and just reset the tempo. Once we zoom in, you can now see that the space is there, which is created by MP3s. We're going to go ahead and select the audio, make sure we're in grid mode, and pull it back to the line. And then from there, we're just going to stretch the audio all the way out to the beginning. And because of the fact that we did split this clip on the beginning and ending half, we're going to have to stretch it out in the other direction as well. The reason why is because if not, whatever audio that wasn't a part of that section is not going to be lined up correctly. And now when we zoom in, you can see, boom, the kick lines up exactly on the beat. And there you go. No beat is ever going to give you an issue when it comes to lining it up on grid because you now know how to identify beat. This is going to take a little practice for you to get it down packed, but the more you do it, the better you will become at it. Make sure you guys drop a comment down below. Let us know how you're doing. Any questions on how to use Identify Beat, please do not hesitate to reach out. Again, my name is Dom C. Like and subscribe, all that. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.